Welcome friends, welcome back to the kitchen. Now, if you watched our potato bun recipe video uh, that came out last Sunday, I guess, you will know that I had so much potato bun dough, it was incredible. And even though I cut the recipe in half, I ended up with this much extra dough that I just couldn't deal with on that day. So I stuck it in the fridge. And uh, this has been in the fridge for 36 hours now. And as you can see, it has still been rising in the fridge, um, which dough does. Yeast doesn't stop because of cold temperatures. It just slows down a little bit. Now, if you've been following along on this channel, you'll know that um, one of the things that I do is just sort of see what happens. So I'm going to take this dough and I'm going to shape it into rolls and I'm going to see what happens. Uh, I'm going to bake some today and the rest of them I'm going to stick into the freezer because a lot of people ask me about freezing dough and let's just see what happens. I know you can freeze dough, uh, you definitely can, you, this is the point where you would freeze it, but let's just shape them, put them in the freezer, put them in an airtight container and see what happens down the road. So I'm going to go with uh, 65 grams for all of the buns. This is a very sticky dough, but it is so much easier to deal with now that it's cold. So I'm just going to shape it on the bench like this. There's no flour on the bench and you just sort of cup your hand around it and swirl it around. You can use two hands if you want to. And with two hands, you just sort of cup it like this. And essentially what you're looking for is just a nice smooth top or a smoothish top. And I don't have to space them out too far on the parchment paper because I am going to freeze these. Okay, I've got two trays of buns here. This one that I'm going to cover with a tea towel and let rise until doubled in bulk and then I'm going to bake them today sort of to see what the dough does after 36 hours in the fridge. And this one I'm going to stick in the freezer and I'm going to freeze them solid um, and then we're going to bake them in a couple of days. Hey, Glenn, you made more buns. Uh, you know, we don't have another dozen already, well, but... That was, the, that was the leftover dough. I so do like buns. Crack those open and we'll see if the texture and flavor has changed after 36 hours. These are the frozen ones. And I'm just going to put them in this jug, put them back in the freezer. And three days from now, we'll... Uh, so they're still we'll pretty soft. They're still, you know, I think the outside is a little... Uh, uh, crustier, which I like, and that could just be how they bake. That could be a thousand other things and have nothing to do with it being... Okay. Uh, you know what I mean? Yep. You'll see when you feel it. So it's just a little crustier on the outside, a little more dinner rolly. Mm. Feels okay. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit yeastier. But overall, um, Texture's changed a little bit too. It's not as it's not quite as soft. It's not as soft. Not yeah. quite as soft. It is a it is a little bit. There's a little bit more. It's not tough. No. But it's got a little more chew. It's like you went from light fluffy clouds. Yeah. To you know, just clouds. Just clouds. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like a, it's still super soft. Still an amazing bun. Okay, so it's only going to sound like seconds to you, but I'm going to come back three days from now. I'm going to take those buns out put them on a sheet tray, let them defrost and rise, stick them in the oven, and then we'll taste those. More buns! Stay tuned. Because the process of freezing the buns has dried out the surface a little bit, I'm brushing them with some melted butter just to allow them to stay hydrated as they thaw and rise. And then Cover them with a tea towel. Okay. Okay. Um, the test. So uh, they look weird. They look weird. And so these were, just to recap, 36 hours in the fridge, leftover dough, overworked, and then frozen. And they 
Um, they dried out a little bit in the freezer, even though they yeah. were in a container. Yeah, they look a little weird. They look so, like, a, like a, a Martian surface kind of thing. Um, but I mean, inside they look... They look okay. They kind of... Uh, they smell okay. Mm. They're definitely not as light and fluffy. No. They don't have that, oh my goodness, it's going to crush if I touch it too hard. Okay, I know I'm pulling a face. Because I remember what the what the first ones were like and how light airy and yeah. Mm -hmm. These are these are still by no means a bad bun. They're just Yeah, they're not buns. As, they're just not as great as the other yeah. ones were. They're buns. You put some peanut butter on them. They're edible. Mm hmm You didn't waste. No. Right? So yeah, I'm in. Yeah. So you can freeze this dough. The quality just will diminish. Just don't have great expectations. It's yeah. just a bun. The quality will diminish, but definitely freezable. So thanks for stopping by. Stay safe, stay healthy. See you again soon.